Andrew Neil has led the charge against Nicola Sturgeon, warning her against signing a pact with the Marxist and anti-business Scottish Greens. Members of the Holyrood Pro-Independence Party will vote today on whether to put their party into government for the first time in the UK, as part of a deal with the SNP. The deal will see co-leaders Patrick Harvey and Lorna Slater becoming ministers, but leading Holyrood politicians and commentators issued stark warnings ahead of the crucial vote with fears the agreement could decimate the Scottish economy. Veteran broadcaster and political journalist Andrew Neil said, these are not your average Greens. The Scottish Greens are a radical left amalgam of 21st century hardline eco-activism and old-fashioned Marxist class war, anti-business, anti-capitalist, anti-monarchy, anti-individual freedom, anti-car, anti-UK, anti-wealth and, above all, anti-economic growth. They make the Greens south of the border sound sensible by comparison, so why is Sturgeon welcoming them into her tent and giving such extremists their first dose of power? Mr Neil claimed the deal will easily wreck Scotland and stressed the party was led by inexperienced chances Patrick Harvey and Lorna Slater. He concluded, to make common cause with an anti-growth party like the Greens will hardly burnish her pro-business credentials. Alex Cole Hamilton MSP, leader of the Scottish Liberal Democrats, said, this agreement looks to be pretty thin gruel for the Greens and confirms that for them, independence comes first before even the climate emergency, voters who want a party determined to fight that emergency without the baggage of nationalism should switch to the Lib Dems. They'll now have to carry the can for the many failures of the SNP and there can be no question that they are now part of government and should not in any way be treated as part of the opposition when it comes to parliamentary business. Donald Cameron MSP, Scottish Conservative Constitution spokesperson, said, after failing to win a majority, she has had to turn to the extremist Greens to try and drag Scotland through another bitter referendum at a time of an economic crisis. That is completely reckless when we should be 100% focused on protecting jobs, rebuilding our communities and fully remobilizing our NHS.